What's up, YouTube? Here, let's turn this a little bit. This is my solar-powered grow room. We'll start with the charge controller. It's starting to get dark, so that's why it's at 12 volts, my panels. But usually they're running about 18 to 20. That, just a backup one. So if something happens with this one. Emergency battery charger. Then right here, I got my my inverter, 1500 watts. And that I got running my high pressure sodium light to my one little plant I got right now. This is just an experiment to see if this will even work. But right here, let's see here. I got 3.6 amps coming in right now because it's starting to get dark, no load. I only have little lights on the load. I got 46 kilowatt hours, it says, ran. My batteries are 12.5. They usually float, <laughs> my bad, about 3.6. Back to my panels. And uh, yeah, I got these little LED lights that I run at night. See the little light bulb just came on, telling me that the my light's on. There it goes off. Yeah, then I got this running in. See how much I exactly got going to my inverter, which is at 12.68. When I started an hour ago, it was at 13.3 volts. And then down here, I have my two Trojan T105s. They are 225 amp hours. Let's see if I can get it to read. Let's see. So, got them in series. Oh. But yeah, that's my setup. These are just the meter. Nothing, these are all the main wires going into my batteries. Yeah, for a cheap inverter, seems to be working really good. But, keep you guys updated, I will be adding more batteries. Probably two every month until I get 15 or 20 batteries. And then by then, hopefully I'll have a lot bigger light system and a whole lot more plants going too. But, this is just a walkthrough and a test to see how this works. Oh, and when I'm done, hopefully I'll be running the whole house too. But, you guys have a good one. Comment, subscribe.